Hi folks, uh, Lee here with a, another recording uh, about embedding websites into other websites, particularly in this instance Blackboard. Uh, in the past I've looked at using Google's, uh, Google Drive to create websites by linking published documents or a published uh, slide presentation and then embedding that into uh, a site like Blackboard. Now we're going to look at uh, Wikimedia projects. Wikimedia projects like Wikipedia, Wikiversity, Wikicommons, Wikimedia Commons, uh, and the list goes on of a number of project spaces that offer great opportunities for um, teaching, assessment, and otherwise community engagement. So I'll turn on my screen and let's have a look at what's going on. All right. So, you should be seeing the Wikipedia article for RMIT University. Now, I'll go and have a look at this embedded into the Blackboard site. And there it is embedded there. But you should notice that a bit of content or context on the site has been stripped away. And we've got these menu drop downs drop down history, drop down organization. And the way you do that is quite simple. Every Wikimedia project has a uh, mobile um, style sheet and you can call up that mobile style sheet by after the language um, letters, in this case en dot, you put an m dot, m for mobile obviously. Enter that and now we are looking at the mobile version of that Wikipedia article. Now this works on all the Wikimedia projects, Wikibooks, Wikiversity, etc. If you're logged into Wikiversity, or Wiki, um, uh, Wikimedia projects, you'll see this pencil icon. But I know that I'm not logged in and I'm seeing it, but that basically is the shortcut to editing the page in the mobile view. I think if you're not logged in, you click that and it will prompt you to log in. Otherwise, you can do it anonymously on the desktop view. Uh, right, so now you've got that URL with the M in there. You go back to your, or you go to your site that you're going to embed it in. And I'll just exit preview mode. And I'm going to look at the code in HTML that you need to use to embed that. It's the iframe code. Now, I haven't yet committed the iframe code to memory, so what I do is I pick it up, say, from a YouTube embed code or a Google Sites, a Google Drive embed code, and um, you paste it in there. And the only thing you need to change is this URL here. So in this, in this case, we're looking at the code that I've picked up from Google Docs, where you just go publish to the web and then uh, other than link you press embed, the tab embed, and it gives you this code. And you need to replace it with uh, the URL that you've picked up from Wikipedia. I won't do it to that one because that's actually a live document, but I'll look at the page that I've got in Blackboard where I am doing it. Uh, click to HTML, and you can see it. There's the iframe code. It's just got the width at 960, height at 569. You can turn those to percentages of your screen if you like. Um, and then there's the link to the um, to the uh, Wikipedia article. So if we go back and look at that Wikipedia article, it's important, it's not showing here, when I copy this uh, and paste it, here's an example, it pastes without the S after the HTTP. You need that S for this to work. So I'll look at that again. And I'll just add the S after the HTTPS, after the HTTP, sorry, after the HTTP. Add the S before the colon, and then this will work. Update that, submit, and turn on to student mode to see what it looks like. As the Docs embedded from uh, Google Drive. Go to the Wikipedia article. It takes a little while to load it in, and there it is. Right. So you can do that for the non-mobile site, but you'll bring it. You'll bring with it a whole bunch of 
other context information. I mean, some of it's useful, but it's a little bit noisy for some people. You know, you get all the language versions of that particular article and all the features such as creating a book and a PDF, etc. plus all the other tools. All the mobile site has done is stripped out a lot of that and put it into um, put it into mobile view. I realized too that I had some hard sizes written in that code, exit preview. I might change it to percentage so that it scales for mobile a bit better. Or actually, we'll just cancel that and see what it does. Yeah, thanks. Um, when it scales through. Yeah, you see how it's not scaling for mobile? Which, you know, Blackboard is notorious for, anyway, this isn't Blackboard's fault for this particular one. This is my coding. So we'll go exit preview and we'll go and edit this um, code so that it scales better. Into HTML. There's those. Oh no, are we in the right one? Oh, I've edited the wrong one. Excuse me. Wiki site. HTML. Okay, it's this width. This width is 960 pixels that's set it at the moment. We'll just change that to 90%. That's 90% of the available screen. We might leave the height as hard because the height is just the scroll. We're imagining this on a mobile. Submit that. Change it to preview mode. Go to the wiki site. We're just thinking with null. Okay, it appears to be still, but let's see there it is, taking up 90% of the screen and leaving this little bit. That's the 10% left out. But we'll see what it does when I now change the size of the window. Oh, that's disappointing. It must be that the frame that Blackboard's using is not set to percentage, so it's not scaling. But if we go back to the wiki, we go forward to the mobile view. And see how it scales. Okay. All righty, that's all from me. That's how to embed uh, MediaWiki content. I don't know of many teachers using MediaWiki projects, but um, they're a good space to get into for the brave. <laughs>